Howdy folks, Charlie here with Multitasking. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I'm gonna answer those burning questions that you have uh, about two things. One, what settings do I use on my Vivor commercial grade slushy machine? And secondly, what are the tricks and the hacks and the cheat codes that I use to get that snow cone perfect consistency on each and every batch that I make? No matter if I'm using a from scratch recipe or if I am using a pre-made mix like the Gourmet uh, Margarita Man mix from Margarita Man. Uh, a couple things. One, at the end of the video, I'm gonna give you some discount codes. No reason to pay full price if you don't have to. I'm gonna give you some discount codes on both mix and on the Vivor machine. Uh, if you want to buy what I have and follow along with me, awesome, because welcome to the Slushy family if you do. Uh, first, let's get to the settings of the Vivor slushy machine. This is the X300. Uh, this is a double tank. This is uh, 15 liters per tank or four gallons per tank. This is a deliciously addictive mango that I made yesterday. Uh, you can tell if you've seen that video or want to see that video, here's a link to it. Uh, but we, we went through half of this batch just in one sitting with the neighbors out in the patio last night. It's freaking awesome. So check out that unique recipe that I made. I did add some few, a few twists and uh, turns to that. It's delicious. Let's get to the settings. Um, you got your buttons, left mixing, right mixing. It just turns the uh, auger to, to mix it. Uh, from there, you can do cold drink. That tells you, uh, hey, I just want a cold drink. Chill my drink. Maybe you want this for banquets. Maybe you want some cold water, some iced tea, whatever. This will keep your beverage ice cold. And you can set that. You can set this and you can set slushy mode by hitting the set button. Then you toggle through SL1 is slushy one, SL2, slushy tank two, CD1, cold drink one, and CD2 is cold drink tank two. So to the settings I use for each and every mix, doesn't matter if it's from scratch or if it's pre-made mix, is always negative 7.1. Not 7.1, negative 7.1. You can toggle through the temperature by hitting plus, which is gonna make it warmer. So we started at 7.1 and we're going all the way up to, now we're at a 5.5. That's not gonna make a very good slushy. So we wanna take this all the way back down to a negative 7.1. You can hold this down and that will toggle through as well. This particular batch, if you watch this review of this, then you already know. If you haven't, spoiler alert, I added more alcohol than what was recommended for this mix. I added two types of alcohol. As such, alcohol acts as a, well, a preserver, pre preservative, so you can keep your slushy mix in the tank longer without having to worry about it going bad. And two, it does act to keep from freezing. So sugar content is a must. You have to have 13% sugar content of your entire mix. Uh, anything in the tank has to have at minimum 13% sugar in order to slush properly. The biggest complaint I get is, hey, I'm not getting slushy consistency. It's kind of watery. One of two things is probably true. One, you don't have your slushy temperature set correctly. You need to make it very, very cold. So if that's the problem you're having, crank that bad boy down to negative 7.1, or in the case of this mango, 7.6. Um, then the thing is sugar content. And here's a little trick, here's a little hack. Here's what I do when I do from made mixes. Now for Margarita Man mixes, such as this bad boy that I'm getting ready to uh, make, the White Russian. We're doing a uh, summer series where I'm ranking 10 different Margarita Man mixes. Um, and I'm ranking them, I'm scoring them, we're having a great time. At the end of the series, you'll know what to buy, one through 10. But the trick that I do is called a refractometer. Um, this is a device that tells me the sugar content precisely. I don't have to guess. I take a little slush, I smear it on this, uh, I push it down so it covers the entire glass. I'll look through it like a kaleidoscope and that will tell me the exact percentage of sugar that this has. So I never have to guess, I always know precisely. Now you can get fancier ones that are more expensive. This one's about 20, 25 bucks. If you wanna use the same one we use, I'll put a link down in the video description below. But it takes all the guesswork out of it. I don't have to, now I can cheat and use this. I already know this has 13% uh, pure cane sugar in it. There's no uh, weird sugars in it. It's just simply pure cane. It's awesome. And I can cheat and I can put it in there. It's kind of like, here's exactly what it's like. You can buy a wood smoker where you have to feed it once an hour. Or you can buy a pellet grill, a pellet smoker, where you put your meat on and you can walk away, you can go shopping, go coach your kids' soccer games, whatever, come back, 
you know the fire didn't go out, you need, didn't burn it. Uh, it's a giant cheat code for smoking. Margarita Man's a giant cheat code for making uh, slushy drinks. You put it in, you forget about it. It's going to almost always, exactly as long as you don't screw with the recipe like I did on the mango, seven, negative 7.1 is always going to be the setting. Cool thing about the Vivor slushy machine is sometimes the auger is going to have a little bit of a resistance to it. If it gets to a certain resistance level, it's going to say, I don't need to go to a negative 7.1. I'm cool here at a negative 6.0. So it, it's not AI, but it does kind of know, hey, I'm at the proper slushy consistency because the resistance is too much. Very, very cool. So those are the tricks. No matter if you have a blender, a different slushy machine than I have, whatever, get yourself a refractometer. Um, you can get digital ones. You can get ones like I have, kind of kaleidoscope style. That's like the, that's kind of like the, the major one that everybody uses because it's the cheapest one. Yeah. Um, you can cheat by using Margarita Man's mix like I do. Do not pay full price. Pay full price is just silly. Use the discount code MULTICASKING um, at checkout at MargaritaMan.com and you get 15% off of every single flavor that they have. I've tried a lot. They're all dynamite. Plus, you get free shipping if you order six or more. We typically order 10 at a time. I'm sorry, eight at a time because they come four per box. So we usually just get two boxes. And when we run out, we know, hey, here's what we need to try. Here's uh, what else we got going on. Uh, here's the favorites for the kids. You don't always have to put apple on them. We don't always put, put that in there. Uh, we have four kids and various ages, and sometimes they're not old enough to have alcohol. So they don't get alcohol, right? Spoiler alert, Margarita Man is coming out with two brand new flavors. I've already tried them. I'm spoiled by loving them. Uh, stay tuned for a future episode. As soon as they give me the go, I'm releasing those bad boy episodes. They are dynamite flavors. Uh, and teaser, they're not at all flavors you're going to expect them to come out with. But for, one of them is for me easily, hands down, my favorite one. So enough on that. Uh, these are the tips and tricks of running your V-War slush machine. Cold drink is what it's on right now. When I'm going to bed at night, I take it off the of slush and I put it over to cold drink. If I hit the slushy button now, I'm going to have slushy, perfect slushies in about 10 minutes because it's already ice cold. Um, so yes, don't let it slush overnight because the outside of your tank will be a complete ice block. You've probably had that problem. I've had that problem several times when I forget about it. So if that ever does happen to you, just either take it to cold drink or take the cold drink off. So this is just the arm turning and this will get up to um, uh, room temperature. And fun fact, that's a little hack you can do. If you ever have a problem where this is just not slushing, it's not froze over on the outside, it's just simply not slushing. You have the right sugar content, you have the right um, um, setting on the slushy settings, negative 7.1. Everything's perfect, it's just not slushing. The trick is, and I've done this many times, uh, you simply leave it on churning, leave it on mixing. No refrigeration at all. Once this gets up to room temperature, and it'll still keep track of the temperature, then you crank it to slush, and for whatever reason, that just solves the problem, and it goes to instant awesome slushiness. Uh, let me know down in the comments what questions you have. If I answered the question you had, cool, let me know. If I didn't, you have more, let me know as well. Keep those comments coming. I love the uh, collaborative uh, camaraderie that we got going on. I love slushies. Hashtag slushy life, am I right? Uh, keep the comments coming. Appreciate your subscription to the channel. Thumbs up if you like me, thumbs down if you don't. All those things you're supposed to do to help a YouTube channel grow. Um, that's about it for me today, guys. I'm Charlie, and I hope you're just as thirsty as I am. I don't have anything to cheers you with. Let's change that, by gosh. A little mango slush, like I was saying. Cheers to you, and I hope you're just as thirsty as I am. Dynamite flavor. Slush mode, engage.